Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our calligraphy class. I hope all of you stay safe and healthy at home in this challenging period. We Confucius Institute decided to reset our calligraphy lesson to provide you an activity to do at home. It's a very good opportunity for us to practice calligraphy in this period. Today, we still continue to practice Ouyang Xun, Jiu Cheng Gong, Li Quan Ming. This stone tablet recorded that Tang Taizong, the emperor in Tang Dynasty, he went to a palace to have a summer holiday. This palace is Jiu Cheng Gong, Jiu Cheng Palace. One day, the emperor walked in the palace. He found it was wet on the ground. He poked with his walking stick and found a spring. The spring tasted very well, cool and sweet. So he named the spring Li Quan. It means sweet spring. For memory, the prime minister Wei Zheng wrote this article to praise the great emperor at the same time to remind him to rule well, keep humble and modesty. Ouyang Xun was a great calligrapher at that time. He was very good at regular script. So he got a command from the emperor to write the article in regular script for engraving a stone tablet. Ouyang Xun was 70 years old at that time, and he was perfect to write regular script. So we can see the copy book very beautiful. People called this piece of calligraphy extremely excellent example of regular script. To make the video course complete, I will still write from the first stroke, the right dot. I tried to find some characters from internet and printed them because my copy paper can't be folded. With the normal paper, fold our copy paper. Make the example character just on the left of our writing. It's much easier for us to see and copy. Be sure to use this method. There is a little difference between your copy paper and mine. Only the character's size, but it doesn't matter. This is my practice rice paper. The paper is very thin. The color is yellow, it's made from bamboo, and it's cheap. Usually, we use such kind of thin, yellow, and cheap paper to practice calligraphy because we will practice a lot. Of course, we will write on the white, high-quality rice paper. Xuanzhi, after we have practiced many times. Firstly, put the rice paper above the copy paper. Put the both paper on the window glass. Let the light come through the paper and draw the outline of the characters. Then, write in the outline with brush. This helps you to be familiar with the structure of the characters. At last, we write on the plain paper.